everyone, and welcome back to Eventide Slavic Fable. This is Jewel Smith, and I am going to be playing the bonus level that I unlocked after finishing the main game. I started out playing Eventide Slavic Fable as a Try It Tuesday demo game. There is a free demo available on PlayStation 4. It's about an hour's worth of gameplay, and I would say uh, that means it's about... 20% uh, of the full game, so there's still quite a bit more content, uh, depending on how long it takes you to get through the puzzles, really. If you're really good at, at playing puzzle games, you might get through faster, say three or four hours. If you're taking your time uh, and it takes you a little while to solve the puzzles and figure things out, it can take five or six hours to do the main game altogether. Uh, and I live streamed. I did buy the full game. I tried it on Tuesday. I enjoyed it so much. I bought the full game and I live streamed that yesterday. There's two sessions because it crashed in the middle. <laughs> so it's broken up into two videos. Uh, but I play the entire game and finished it. However, there is this bonus level here called Midsummer Night that was unlocked after I finished Slavic Fable. So I want to try that out. I don't know how long it's going to take me to play, but let's let's check it out and see what happens. Casual or expert? Well, I could probably get away with playing on expert, but I'm going to go with casual. Once a year, in the heart of the forest on midsummer night, the fern flower blossoms. Legend tells that, if found by a person of pure heart, the flower will grant any wish he or she desires. <coughs> they think it's only a legend. But tonight is midsummer. I will find the flower, and I'll ask it to heal mom. Wow, okay. We did find the flower in the main game, and we healed it. And it was midsummer night when we were doing our Slavic fable adventure. It looks like this is a different but related adventure. We have a sick mother and her child is going to go in search of the flower in order to make a wish. I need a stool to reach the upper shelf. Well, there's a stool right there. The trunk is closed. Mom keeps the closing part on the upper shelf. Okay. Can I pick that up? I have nothing in my inventory. All right. But that's a stool right there. I want to move the stool over to the shelf. Can I can I do that? Oh, what's Oh, we found some matches. Hey kids, you shouldn't play with matches. This game is a bad influence. Oh, I can open the window too. It's too high, I need some kind of rope. Sheets, maybe. What did I take? Nope, I picked up the sheets. Okay. Yeah, so this is one of those point-and-click style games where you just have to search around everything. Oh, there is a stool. I can pick it up right there. Okay. Well, let's try putting it here. It's too dark. I need a light. Well, don't we have matches? That's the book she was just reading. Oh, 
There we go. That will probably unlock the box. And this looks like another puzzle for us to do. Arrange the picture by swapping its pieces. I'm not sure what the center, this is probably the center of the picture right there. Oh, I think I need to move it up a little bit. That one goes there for sure. There we go. Uh, we got somebody's used Kleenex. I guess we're ready to climb out the window. Out to the village. Oh, another water wheel. Saw a water wheel like this in the main game. All right, that's back into our house. Our nice little cottage there. What's over here? I need to put this lantern together. Oh, looks like there's a Triskel in this lantern. What is this? Oh, a little map. The village, the forest, Tubber's house. Oh, we've been to Tubber's house and Leshy's tree. Those were locations in the main game. Okay. We'll take that map. We'll take that doily. Uh, there's a little, looks like a crochet hook. won't work without a candle. Oh, it's a lockpick. Okay, it's not a cro it's not a crochet hook. It's a lockpick. I see. Okay, we need to find a candle. Oh! This little door in the side of the mountain was here in the main game as well. So is this trying to say that maybe this was in the past? Is this in the distant past? Because when we were here, this area was all overgrown. Oh, let's use the lockpick. We'll take a candle. I can take some water from here. Well... We don't have anything to put water into yet. But yeah, remember uh, <laughs> in episodes uh, 2 and 3 when I was playing through the main game, we were in an area just like this, but it was all overgrown. And we were needing to open this little doorway, but it was uh, closed over like it was made of metal or stone or something, not glass. And this was all overgrown. The mill was all overgrown. There was a window here in the main game, but it was all overgrown. And it just had shelves inside. I don't think it had a whole cabin behind it. But yeah, it, obviously they're, they're reusing the same assets or trying to make it look like maybe this is the same location, but in a different time period. That's really cool. Well, we have a lantern now. Nothing else we can do there. 
Oh, it's telling us to move on to the swamp. I wonder if there will be blueberries and lavender in the swamp like there were in the main game. Uh oh. I have to be quiet. The miller and his wife are still awake. Okay. It's too dark in here in the swamp. Well, let's what use the lantern. Are you doing in my realm? Why do you disturb the peace of the forest? A fern flower? If you believe in it, you may be able to find it. But first, you will have to prove that you're worthy. There's a helpless creature in these woods. What can you do about it? That's Leshy. He was in the main game. Oh, there's the helpless creature. Rescue the bear. The forest is scary at night, but I need to move forward. Alright, let's check out the bear. Hello, little bear. The bear is hurt. I have to help him. Oh my goodness. I need a stick to disarm the trap. Also, a part of the snares is missing. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking around. Alright, we'll take that. That will be important later. <laughs> In games like this, everything is important later. The dirt is too dry for the herbs to grow. I need fertilizer. Mold and water should do. Well, she said herbs, but this says plantago. Or plantago? I don't know what that means. The dirt is too dry for the herbs to grow. I need fertilizer. Mold and water should do. Alright, well, we're, we know where to get water. We just don't have a container to put it in yet. I don't know where to get mold. I'm looking around. Let's see. Zoom. Oh, we can go that way. Alright, let's see what this is. Nothing there for us. Okay. Well, let's move on. <gasps> hey! It's Leshy's house! We know this location. When we were here as Mary Gilbert, she had to deal with some bees up in the trees. Whose house is this? It's impressive. It's Leshy's house. Ah, this was where his uh, his bee smoker was. The box is missing a handle. And this time it's a watering can it looks like. Oh, I bet we can fill the watering can with water. The nest fell out of the tree. I need to put it back. I need a hoe to remove the mold. Okay, so we know where there's mold now. And we need to put the nest back in the tree. The bird has something in its beak. I wonder how I can get it out. By putting the nest up there. Oh, the branch is too high for me to reach. Okay, so we're going to need to find a ladder or something. Now, in the main game, when we walked up to this door, it had a very complicated puzzle on it. Looks like it still has a puzzle, but it's a different puzzle than I had to solve before. Let's put that block in there. Turn around elements of the lock so that all the symbols are visible. Oh, I see. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just 
messing about until something makes sense. <laughs> logic is of this puzzle. Oh, I did it! Finally! Alright. The anchor is useless without a line. I guess we can't take it with us. We have to find a rope or something? I have to find a rope first. Okay. Can we get into that house yet? Nope, I guess we can't go into Leshy's house. Oh, wait a minute. It looked like there was a handle there. There we go. Ah, there's the rope. Now we have a line with an anchor. Can we get up there with that? We can. Let's put the nest back. Pick up the gear. Alright. Oh, and now we can walk up and do this puzzle. We must find all the parts. I'm not sure what it's going to assemble, but okay. Looks like some nuts and bolts. Oh, there's the smoker! <laughs> it's all assembled! It's the smoker from the main game. What else do we need to find here? It's not a thing. We don't need that. One, two, three, four more pieces it looks like. That's one of them. Oh, more matches there. Can I have those matches? And just one more piece. Where is it going to be? That one right there. Kind of looks like the bottom. Oh, I, we're assembling a hoe. <laughs> Who are you calling a hoe? <laughs> Not that kind of hoe. The kind for the garden. That's what this is going to be. So that we can get... There it is. We can get the moss we need. Well, that's a heck of a hoe. Alright, so now we can go here and gather. Oh no, we broke the hoe! But we got some moss. Now we have to go back and get some water. Right here. With the watering can. Full watering can! Excellent! Now we will add the mold and we will add the water. And now the herbs are growing. Uh oh, Plantago. The thistle has sharp thorns. I won't touch it. Maybe we can use that? Okay. Is that what I'm trying to find here? Oh. 
There's the stick again. Oh, there's some blueberries here. <laughs> Uh, four more, huh? There's a little froggy down there. Hard to tell what's Plantago and what's not. That looks like mint of some kind. Well, where would it be? We just need one more. Is it up here somewhere? Let's use a hint. Oh, it's right there. I thought I clicked on that already. Alright, well. That's my one complaint about these games. I was saying this yesterday when I was playing the main Eventide game. In some of these hidden object puzzles, I'll click right on something, but it doesn't register. It's like I'm not centered on it perfectly, and it doesn't register. So I assume I'm doing it wrong, and then I come back to it later and realize, no, that's the way it's supposed to work. Alright, I'm looking up Plantago on the internet. It says this is actually... Uh, the name for about 200 species of small inconspicuous plants, commonly called plantains or flea warts. Uh, the common name plantain is also shared with the unrelated cooking plantain, which is a kind of banana. Alright. So plantago is just a, a type of plant. Many different varieties. Maybe it looks like it's a ground cover. Oh, and they are used as food by some larvae of butterflies and moths. Oh, that's interesting. Ah, Plantago has been used since prehistoric times as an herbal remedy. The herb is astringent, antitoxic, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antihistamine. Well, that's very handy. It's useful for insect bites, poison ivy rashes, minor sores. Wow, that is pretty powerful stuff. Very powerful. Alright, no wonder we're collecting it. You, you have, have everything, everything you need, everything huh? You need to save the bear. And you have a good heart. Do I? You can go further, but a new trial awaits you. Remember to use your wisdom as you navigate the maze. The maze? I don't have to go with you up to your special lookout place and use your telescope and all of that? That's what we had to do in the main game. Alright. We did find this other part. Now the snares have all their parts, but I can't mess with them without a proper stick to block them. Well, let's use the stick. There we go. The lever on the left should start the mechanism. Complete the mechanism by arranging the gears so that all of them move. Oh my, so I have to arrange the gears so that all of them move, huh? Huh. That's not gonna work, huh?
Ah, okay, I see. Oh, these little pegs here. Those are where you can put gears. I can't pick that one up. I've got to get this one to move, so I've got to be able to connect these. Huh, okay. this one turn so let's start from that side oh that'll work like that too huh we've got to make this one but I can't pick this one up can't interact with that one goes here. <gasps> we did it! Okay, so now what? That wasn't enough? Well, all the gears are turning. Oh, okay. I have to pry this open. Oh, poor bear paw. We'll heal him with herbs. Objective accomplished. Rescue the bear. Alright. The forest is scary at night, but I need to move forward. Okay. Do I need to go outdoors? Oh, no. There's a little lodge sparkling in the distance. Alright. Leshy let you through his forest. You've earned his trust. Will you help me? No, oh, it's Tupper. The pipes leading to my bath are broken. I tried to fix them, but couldn't. We had to help Tubber in the main game, too. Alright, let's see what we have going on out here. Oh, there's a maze. Or maybe Tubber will help us through the maze. Unless she helped us through the maze in the main game. Alright, let's see here. I need a hat to make a scarecrow. Why do I need to make a scarecrow? Can I not... can't seem to do anything with any of these. I can't pick anything up. I guess I need a hat first. Hey, Coosbane! How you doing? Coosbane's joined us in the chat room. Gosh, long time no see. How you been? <laughs> it says, Botanist Plumber. Yes. Well, this is the bonus level of the Eventide game, so I am not a botanist in this one. I seem to be a little child who is trying to find the fern flower so I can heal my mother. 
Uh, but yeah, in the main game, I am a botanist. I am the botanist Mary Gilbert. Dr. Mary Gilbert from modern day. I can't tell if this is in modern day or not. Let's walk up to... Oh, it's one of these kind of things. I have to connect... I'm going to assume I have to connect this side with this side by sliding. I need the missing part of the mechanism and a valve to make the water flow. Am I missing a tile? I would think I would have to move these tiles around, but okay. Maybe I need to find a tile and then find a valve. Let's just see if there's anything else I need to do here. All right. Hey, thank you! Coosbane says, Happy belated New Year! Happy New Year to you, too! Right, yeah, not the botanist. Got it. Yeah, this is the bonus level. It's called the Midsummer Eve, and it was unlocked after I finished the main game yesterday. So I wanted to try it out and see what's what. Right, okay, this is the Scarecrow Building place. This is the tile puzzle. What's this? Oh, same thing. Okay. And it looks like I can zoom in on this. What's going on here? Are these dead birds? What is this? This is awful. Oh, there's a hat. Oh, these are just birdies eating in the bird feeder. Okay. I need to make the birds go away from here, and thus I need a scarecrow. Got it. Alright, so now I have all the things, but now I have to find bits and bobs. Alright, well there's the knife. I can use these sticks to be a skeleton for the scarecrow, but I have to make them stable. Got it. Hey there. We'll take that coin. The mouse should be interested in cheese. I see. The basket is closed. Oh, that coin opened the basket? Okay. Not sure why that would be the case, but all right, if you say so. <laughs> Sometimes this game just doesn't make sense. I can make a face. Sure, let's carve it up. Ah, yes. Let's use the cheese. Bye bye, Mousy. Oh, we're taking the shoelaces. Maybe we can use those on the sticks to stabilize them. Yes. All right. I need to add a feather to the cap. Of course, it's so terribly important that there be a feather. Oh boy, there's a lock here too. I need a key to open this. Yes, not corn. Got it. Oh, hello. Oh, maybe I could give the corn to chicken and get a feather and a key. Do you have a scarecrow in your nest there? No, she doesn't. We'll use the key. Uh, and now it says I need a safety pin. Oh, okay. Who leaves their sewing kit out in the garden? Come on, for real. Oh, no, I need the hat. Okay, let's get the hat. And put the hat Perfect. Scarecrow needs a head made of pumpkin, a hat, and a jacket. Oh, okay. Well, here looks like a jacket. Probably need to use the safety pin. Take the jacket. Put the jacket on the scarecrow. And take the scarecrow. Excellent! Oh, hello! Kimberly says, hi, Jewel. And someone else uh, whose name I cannot read, I apologize, says, how's it going, Jewel? I'm doing well. How are you? I am playing Eventide. I'm playing the bonus level of Eventide Slavic Fable. It's the first in the Eventide series. I think there's three Eventide games. 
Oh, let's put the scarecrow in here. And scare them away and find the tile that we need to fix the bathtub. Because Tubber likes his tub. Tubber was a character in the main game. Alright, now we should be able to do this puzzle. But what we have to do... I need a valve to make the water flow. Okay. I don't think we have a valve yet. No. So where do we find a valve? Oh, maybe we have to go into the maze to find the valve. I don't think there's anything else here for us to interact with. Oh. Nice cozy house for Tubber, yes. Tubber was running a massage parlor in the main game. <laughs> Massage parlor and bathhouse where he was making horse harnesses. <laughs> Think of that what you will. I'm just saying that's the, that's the way it went down. Oh, that looks like a valve. I need to follow the clues, otherwise I'll be lost. I don't think we have any clues yet. We'll have to get clues. From Tubber, probably, after we fix his tub. Alright. Let's put the valve on. Ah, yes. Now we can arrange the pipes by rotating them so that the water can flow. Ah, I see. X rotates the pipes. Oh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work at all. So let's try it this way. That's not going to work. It's either going to have to be this way. Like, like this. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work either. I don't think it is. I don't think I can swap out tiles, you guys. So it's going to have to be... Maybe this way. Hmm. So the water's coming in from over there on the right, and it's got to flow. It's not going to work that way. Huh, and I can't... I can't move... Gotta come in that way. So there's my only choice is to have it go up or have it go down. Alright, it's gotta come out over here. And my only choice here is to have it go down or up. Got to go this way. That's not going to work, is it? Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, boy. Instructions. Let me look at the instructions again. 
Arrange the pipes, rotating this more complete. Okay, that's it, huh? That's all we get. That's all we get. Yeah, see, that's just not going to be possible. Because this one is not going to let it work. It's just not going to happen. And that one's not going to work that way either. Unless we do it this way, maybe? No. Oh wait, maybe this is it. I did it! I did it, you guys! I did it! Oh, okay, it's NC Ranger for life. How you doing? Thank you. It's so good to have running water again. There is NC Ranger's medicine in the chat room. <laughs> the the Take care of it, and it will Thanks for stopping by. To the flower. Good luck. Oh, he's giving us a dagger. Okay. Oh, and something else. Some kind of moon? Where did I get that from? All right, we've solved the bath puzzle. We've helped Tubber take a bath. Into the maze we go. Oh, there's an owl. Hello, owl. Um, I need to follow the clues, otherwise I'll be lost. Okay, so what are the clues? this. Well, what's going on here? What is missing? I don't know. What is missing? Oh, does he want his horn? Ooh, looks like he needs his eye, too. And we'll put that disc there, and that opens up a tooth. Oh, and he's given us a hint. This symbol can help me navigate through the maze. Okay. Looks like they want me to go that way. The old Slavic rune. Yes, let's go to the left. Oh. The owl is back. The owl's helping us. Ooh. The amulet is just out of my reach. If only I could knock it down somehow. You mean like with this thing? I need an arrow to shoot it. There's an arrow. Let me open my inventory. I want to know a moon token, huh? Okay. Let's use the arrow with the crossbow. There was a crossbow in the main game as well. And let's shoot that down. Don't shoot the owl. There we go. Ah, oh, it looks like a letter G. This symbol can help me navigate through the maze. Okay. Not that way. Looks like we should go that way. Oh, the owl friend is back. I don't think there was an owl in the main game. There was an owl picture with a puzzle we had to solve. But not an owl friend. Oh! Another puzzle. I need the missing part to open the box. Do we have the missing part? It's not the moon token and it's not the ritual dagger. Okay. Alright, well. Hey, we found it. It was right next to the owl. He was helping us out. <laughs> Alright, let's put it in place. And now it says arrange the picture by swapping its pieces. Looks like... It's going to be an owl, but I'm not sure uh, exactly what the owl is supposed to look like. I'm, I'm just winging it. <laughs> That's a pun. It's an owl pun. 
winging it. Get it, get it. It doesn't look like that belongs there. This, these two definitely look like they go together. Doesn't look like it goes there. Yeah, that looks a little bit more like that's what it needs to be. But where are the feathers? Can we rotate the pieces? No. Yeah, that definitely looks right. sure if that looks quite right. There we go. That looks like the other part of his wing that goes over here. Yeah, something like that. Maybe? Um... Mm-hmm. That's getting closer. I think that's definitely getting closer. There we go. He's got the moon over his head. Yes, that's getting closer. No, that's not right. This probably needs to go up here. There we go. That one goes there. That one goes there. Ah, there we go. I think that's it. We did it. Ah, and that is the rune we need to follow through the maze. It kind of looks like a person with two eyes and a nose and some hair or something there. Maybe that's their mouth and a nose. I don't know. But that's the one we need to follow. So we need to go that way. Oh, what in the world is this? Okay, hang on, hang on. One thing at a time. Lots to do here. The midsummer night is not over. I still have time. Yes, you do. But you better hurry. We have to find the fern flower on midsummer night and make a wish so we can help our mother get better. Alright, zoom. Uh, looks like a broom. The dagger and vase with flowers are missing. How did she, how do we know that there needs to be a vase with flowers there? Well, I think we have the dagger, don't we? It's the ritual dagger, okay. But we don't have a vase with the vase is still missing. Okay, we need to find a vase. Who's leaving these candles burning out here in the middle of the woods, though? That's really not good. I can't clean all the leaves and dust with my bare hands. Well, we'll use the broom, then. I'm gonna burn the whole forest down, leaving these candles out like this. This looks like a good place for the vase. Or vase, if you prefer. Anything else we need to do here? Grab. Oh, is this the, is this the vase? The vase? Oh, and now we have to find flowers to put in it. I see. two more. Oh, little eyes looking at me. There's little eyes looking at me. It's very pretty. So this is covered with Celtic knots. Now, I've noticed that there are a lot of Celtic symbols and motifs mixed in with this Slavic stuff. And I'm, I'm no anthropologist, so I don't know if there's a connection there between those cultures. 
Um, but, you know, I was under the impression that the, the Celtic knot thing was uh, more of a, well, Celtic thing, which would be Western Europe, uh, Ireland, Scotland, that sort of thing. But I don't know. Well, I guess interwoven knot designs are common in many cultures, not just European or uh, Celtic cultures. But there's other things too, like in the main game they had a jack-o'-lantern and they were saying jack-o'-lanterns were the spirits of dead souls or something and I was like, uh, no actually, <laughs> not from what I understand, uh, jack-o'-lantern was based on an Irish legend and the, the idea of jack-o'-lanterns was brought over to the US from Ireland and you know, I don't know, I mean maybe I just have incorrect information but it just seemed odd that you know I keep coming across these things that are that are Celtic but uh, also included in this Slavic game so I don't know if that means that they are also Slavic and that these things are used in both cultures or whether the people who made this game were being a bit uh, a bit liberal in how they were borrowing from other cultures that weren't just Slavic I don't know I mean, you know, they do that in fantasy games. You know, there's always a mixture of lots of different things in fantasy games. It doesn't really make any sense. You know, they might borrow a little from Egyptian mythology, borrow a little from Celtic mythology, borrow a little from Anglo-Saxon, whatever. Um, Viking, etc., etc. Different time periods. It's like, it's like Skyrim has some elements that are actually um, a bit Victorian in time period. Or going all the way back to they have elements that are from like ancient Rome or whatever. Like, you know, there's all these different uh, mixtures from different time periods and stuff. Because it's not supposed to be historically accurate. I know, it's just fantasy. Fantasy tends to do that. They kind of pick and choose from lots of different things. But I thought this was supposed to be strictly Slavic because that's what it's called is, you know, Eventide Slavic Fable. And it's about a Slavic heritage center. And yet they have a Triskel, which is um, an Irish symbol, and they have, or a Celtic symbol, and they have, you know, jack o' lanterns and you know, Celtic knots and all these other things. Um, okay, we need to fix the picture here, and I need to stop rambling. Where does the bug go? Oh, it's a flower. Alright, so we're looking for a knife, it looks like. And something else that goes in here. Oh, that's her crown. Yes. Oh, and that goes there. The bowl. Where would the bowl go? Not there. Am I missing something here? Oh! His sack goes there and the bowl goes there. That makes more sense. Oh! And we're missing the moon. The moon needs to go right in the center, doesn't it? Do I need to move those? Yes. I will move heaven and earth for you. And now we just need the dagger. I think this place was called a tomb when we were here in the main game. Yeah, this this has definitely got to be... This little bonus level, bonus adventure must be set far in the past before the main game actually occurs because we were here in the main game but this was all overgrown and looked very different and this was called a tomb when we were flower. here before it's beautiful there's the fern flower You have found the fern flower. Well, a petal from the fern flower, yes. 
Okay. I've got the flower. Time to come back. You mean go back. It's time to go back home. All right. You are a friend of the forest, and your heart is pure. Oh, oh, thanks. Quick, you have to go back before midsummer night ends. Thanks, Leshy. Oh, it's my sick mother. I will give her the fern flower. Oh, trophy earned. Good heart, it says. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks to you, darling. I feel better now. It worked. I'm so happy, Mom. I think one day you <gasps> may become Baba, guardian of the forest. That's my grandmother, or Doctor Mary's grandmother. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I loved that. Oh, that was darling. How sweet. So that little adventure I was playing and I said it, it felt like it was set before the main story. It was set before the main story. That little girl who found the flower grows up to become the Baba, who's the grandmother of the character in the main game. Dr. Mary Gilbert. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that was totally worth it. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Uh, <laughs> if you're enjoying yourself, leave a like. Subscribe, tell your friends, uh, and this game even tied Slavic Fable. Very nice game. Has about five or six hours worth of gameplay, depending on how long it takes you to figure out the puzzles. Uh, it was $9.99 on PlayStation. There was a free demo that allows you to play about the first hour or so of the game if you want to check it out, and it's published by Artifix Monday, and they have several games like this with different themes. Uh, I had tried out a steampunk uh, game of theirs. It was called Clockwork Tales. Uh, we did that for another Try It Tuesday. And they have many other free demos on PlayStation 4. I will probably be trying out another game of theirs in February. They've got one about some forgotten bride or something like that. It, it sounded kind of creepy, but kind of cool and seemed like a sort of maybe romantic story. So I might do that around Valentine's Day. I'll try out the demo for that one. But uh, yeah, check it out. And their games are also on PC and on other platforms. I think you can even get them for tablet and smartphone. So you can go look at artifixmonday.com or uh, go look on the PlayStation Store and check it out. All right, you guys, take care of yourselves. Until next time.